Hi YouTube! Um, so today we are going to be doing a hard candy makeup review. Now I have spoke to you guys about this before and I've tried a couple products in, let's see, I did start with the setting spray, I started with the highlighter, and I also started with some concealer that I found in the clearance bin. So I have more products today because I've been kind of on a little, you know, let's try it before we buy it a uh, hiatus. So I've already got my foundation primer and all that on. They do have a couple primers and a foundation um, and some contour and all that and brow pencils but I don't have all that I don't need to purchase all that right now but in the near future um, when I run out of the products I already have um, I would like to try some of those products actually eh, I got a visitor <laughs> this is Miss Lightning have you met Miss Lightning say hi star <laughs> okay She's going to hang out here with me on my lap, I think, while I finish up what I was going to do. Anyway, so since I need to do my concealer, let's get that taken care of. And then we'll set our face, do all that fancy stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do my concealer. This is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. It's a heavy-duty concealer. I've been using it for very long time now. I found it in the clearance bin. I think it was like 50 cents or something. And it's great. It's really great concealer. Um, it's a heavy, heavy duty control concealer. So I just take a very tiny dab and I just dab a small amount under my eyes. And then we're going to blend this out. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Jesse and uh, Lightning are playing, so if you hear the cats, that's what's going on behind <laughs> behind me. Okay, so I'm going to continue and blend this out. I've heard mixed reviews about this concealer, um, but I don't seem to have a problem with it. Um, but I don't use a whole lot of concealer anyway, so I don't have any problems with it. And it's not creasing at all. Looks great. So real quick, I'm just going to take my pressed foundation and a powder and I'm just going to go under my eyes real quick to set that concealer. Okay. So just set that concealer. There we go. So, as you can see, I don't have any creases. I love this. I think it's wonderful concealer. Alright. Now, to get ready to do our eyes, they have a eye primer. I've been using these products now for a couple weeks. And I actually am really impressed with the quality of it. So, we're going to take a tiny bit of eye primer. in here. Small amount. Just a very small amount. And we're going to dab a little bit on each eye. Okay. Now, if you don't know what eye primer is, if you're new to, newer to makeup, Eye primer is just something that will help your eyeshadow 
stick even better and last a little longer. So I try to use eyeshadow primer as much as I can because I have slightly oily skin. Uh, but in the summertime, it's less oily because I'm out doing other things. So it's more dry. But nevertheless, I put eye primer on my eyes just to help with my eyeshadow sticking. Okay. I think we got it all blended out. Yep. Okay. So. So that's our eyeshadow primer, Eyes the Limit. Alright. And now I have a hard candy palette. Sorry about the reflection. Let me open it up for you guys. The reflection was. This is the Smoke Out palette. Um, it is a hemp infused, yeah, hemp infused um, makeup. So let me see. Hard candy. So I was trying to find the ingredients. Um, hang on. I can't see all the ingredients, it's so tiny. Anyway, but it is um, infused with some hemp seed oils and stuff like that. Um, and on the back, if you can see that, it says THC and CBD free. So it's just like, it's hemp oil infused. And these are the colors, the names. Um, so let's see. If we can create, I, the other day I created a sparkly look. This shadow comes out so gorgeous. Let me kind of quickly give you a little um, swatch here. That is really, really subtly cool. I like that. I think that's really cool. Um, what I was thinking today was kind of like, Start with the basics and then we'll go see what we can create. Okay, so let's see. We've got. Right, let me get my eye brushes. Um, let's go in with this shade here um, at the bottom called Hash. This shade called Hash. Okay, and I'm going to go in there with that shade, and it's a very subtle shade, let me see if it looks, can you see that on camera? I love this shade, it's a very subtle um, starting shade, so I'm going to take that in as kind of like a, a base, like this. Can you see the difference? I don't know if my ring light's too bright. Sorry about that. We'll get it eventually. Once somebody gets my room set up back there so I can film videos, <laughs> my husband is going to set me up a little area where I can film my videos in proper lighting and everything. Um, and I can get another ring light. That'd be nice. This looks really pretty. I like this color. Very subtle. Nice starting color. I think I took it up a little further on the other eye. So I'm going to take it up higher. Very pigmented for this subtle color. But I like that. Okay, so let's go in with the shade. Um stoned the shade stoned this one here and I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna kinda drop that in the center of my crease a little bit and 
Ja. Stimmt. Okay. Oh, it's kind of cool. This adds a little depth to our eye look. light like very light depth but it does add some depth to your eye look these eyeshadows are very buildable I like that so now I'm gonna go back in with that first color hash and then just go back and go sh de sharpen those lines so they're not so harsh and I'm using a fluffy brush for that Okay, so, um, let's go in with that bottom, that color stoned under the bottom waterline. And then that looks, yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> like, it. yes, I love it. Oh, yes, ma'am. It's very nice and subtle. Very pretty. I like that. Okay, let's see. Let's go in with this shimmer here. And that is called Trippin'. Let's see if it can apply with a brush. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can you guys see that? There's a little bit of fallout. I'm just going to take that. Actually, first I'm just going to take my translucent powder by Wet n Wild and just stick a little bit of that under here. Under my eye. <laughs> just a small amount. And I can just dust it back off okay there we go okay okay now continue With that color tripping. I'm going to bring that color down there a little bit into the lower corner. Very pretty. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we have another visitor. 
This is Mr. Rain Man. Mr. Rain. <laughs> Set him down. He's sitting on my lap. Okay, now let's see. What are we going to do now? Let's add... Hmm, let's add this bright, um, bright one up top here. Um, that is called Lit Up. And I'm going to take a different brush. And I'm just going to go see if this applies with a brush. Oh, I love that color. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Yes. Oh, yes. Love that. That is very cool. That's a very subtle sparkle. I love when eyeshadows stick with a brush, especially shimmers. That is very cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with my fluffy brush into that color hash and just use that to blend a little very pretty very pretty and now for our inner corner highlight let's go in with that color blunt this gold this very pretty gold. Oh wow. Oh wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Alright, look at that inner corner. That's cool. Okay, let's take a little bit up here into our brow moon. Okay. A little bit into the brow moon. Just the brow highlight. And I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and then just blend that out. And then I'm going to wipe these off. Ooh, I love that. That is pretty. Okay. And just because... It's me. We're gonna go in with that that sparkle glitter. Can you see that glitter? It's like a gold glitter. We're just gonna take our brush and go up over with the color toque. There we go. A little bit of fallout, but that's to be expected. And we're just going to wipe off that under eye powder. It's a very subtle, nice, pretty eye look. I like it thus far. Alright, now we are going to go in with one of their liquid 
eyeliners. I've been using these for a couple days as well. Um, I wanted to add a pop of green under the bottom in the waterline and a pop of yellow. And I also have this really pretty purple. But I think we'll save that for another day. Um, so I'm going to take the green shade in... This is called Stroke of Gorgeous. And I'm just going to go into my waterline. That's really pretty. I love that. Can you see that? That green. And let's intensify it. A little. Can you see that? Okay. That's definitely a really pretty, really pretty scheme there. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into my palette here and go back into that brown shade called Stone. And I'm going to go back under and smoke the eye out a little further. little bit further like that all right so then we have that little bit there okay and now I'm going into the top with this shade called this is also called stroke of gorgeous hmm They don't have the shade names, they're all Stroke of Gorgeous. So I'm going to go and do the top. Did the top of my eyes with the yellow. That's a very vibrant yellow. Very cool yellow. Very cool yellow. Okay. Alright. I am happy with that. Okay, so that's our liners. Now, I have two mascaras. There's a blue one and a teal one. So, how about we just go with the teal one? because it's more green. I know this is kind of a busy look, but we want to test out as many hard candy products as we can. This is a Dare to Extend Ultimate Lash Extension, and that is the applicator tip. Oh wow. This is pretty. Now 
Now I have tried the blue one before, but this one is different. That adds, adds that little extra pop of color. Okay. Wow. Okay, so let's dip a different. And we do the other eye. The kids are purring if you can hear them. They're right down below me. And thunder is on the bed. Okay. The eyes are almost the most tedious thing ever because I hate doing my mascara. I don't want to mess up my eye makeup. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a spoolie, I'm just going to go back over my lashes and fix any of those clumps that were hanging out. <laughs> okay, so those are our eyes. We have them all set. Okay. Really cool. I like those. Now, I didn't pick up any blush from Hard Candy, but they have a couple. So I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. blush. I like this blush. It's very subtle. I don't like a very pigmented in your face blush unless it's it's uh, Halloween or something. I just don't like that look. So we're just going to go in with my subtle elf blush. I love this. We have to do another video on elf because elf is an awesome drugstore product. And that just gives you a subtle texture and I'm just gonna buff it out with my fluffy brush there we go okay and now I have the universal lip primer by hard candy and this is also made with hemp oil so we're going to take this and just rub that on our lips. Okay. Now I think I showed you guys the lip crayons. I like those. They are awesome. Um, I recently picked up this pink color. Um, I also picked up a liquid lip color, which is a green, which is very intense. Um, so, let's go with the pinky tone, because I think that would go better with our look today. So this is a pretty color. I love this color. Uh, this is called Paradise. This is also made with hemp oil. Very pretty color.
I thought this was the best stuff ever from the drugstore. I have never ever found a lip crayon that is so comfortable and soft and lasts as long as that did. Uh, but these lip uh, liquid lippies are pretty good too. I tried these out uh, for a day and I did some good wear on these. So those are great too. Now I have two highlighters. I've got the rose gold and the 24 karat gold. This 24 karat gold one, let me open because the, the packaging is clear so I don't want it to reflect. This is the 24 karat gold and then this is the rose gold which I've been using quite a bit. I like this one. But I just recently found this in the dollar store. So let's do the 24 karat gold on my nose. And then we'll do rose gold on my cheeks and whatnot. So I'm going to take the 24 karat gold. And I'm going to blend all the colors together. And I'm just going to go on my nose with this. This one's a more glittery highlighter, but it nevertheless is still very pretty. And now I'm going in with the rose gold and blending it all over my highlighter brush. And I'm just going to take this above my cheeks. I really like that highlighter. And I'm just going to go over that. And that rose gold is awesome for sparkles. This is beautiful. Uh, the regular 24 karat gold one is awesome if you want some sparkles. I love me some highlighter. And to finish that off, I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and detensify it so much because I kind of went a little overboard with it. Looks good, guys. Alright. Looks like we are ready to put our setting spray on. So this is the long lasting sheer uh, setting spray. And I like the spray on this. It's very good. And we'll just let that dry. And there we go. That is our look. Very cool, very colorful. Hard candy. Um, so these products are available at Walmart. Um, they are exclusive to Walmart, I do believe. Uh, there is a website. Um, so you probably can order directly from the website. Uh, but they are amazing. So I'm going to keep trying to buy different things and I'll update you guys on those but I think my favorite things um, I like their eyeshadow primer I like their setting spray I really 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 like these highlighters these are great um, this glamouflage stuff is great um, their mascaras are okay um, their liquid liners are amazing. I love these. They're awesome. They're waterproof. Um, the lip crayons are awesome. Um, uh, the palette, I need to play around more. Uh, it's, it's pretty good for a drugstore palette for a nice subtle look. Um, I'm pretty sure you could create a brighter look, but, um, I... I did a pretty subtle look because I did all the other fancy things, but um, the eyeshadow is very cool. I like that. 
Um, and everything here, is, there's nothing over $10. This was the most expensive thing is this palette. So the palette ran $10. Um, and then I found the mascara in the clearance bin for, I think it was $2. This one I just bought full price because it's a newer one. I s imagine they were changing their packaging. But I don't see colored mascaras very often, so I had to pick them up. Um, and these are crazy cool. I definitely recommend these, but they're only $5, so hey. And the lip crayons are about four something, uh, so I really enjoy these. Uh, the liquid lippy, I need to use more, but I really did enjoy it when I used it. Very pigmented. Uh, they have translucent setting powder. I just used my Wet n Wild. Uh, they have foundation, and obviously they have other, you know, blush and stuff like that. They have contour. I didn't buy everything, but I just wanted to sample some more of the products that I use on the more regular side, so, uh, like eyeshadows and liners and stuff like that. So, really got a, a nice eye kit here. Everything for your eyes. Um, so, it, I would say all this, all total, didn't even cost me... I think the eyeshadow palette was the most expensive, so I would say there's at least $50 worth of eye products here. And then the lip products, I haven't tried their pencils. I didn't use their uh, eyebrow pencil. They have eyebrow pencils. Uh, they have all kinds of things. They have a Marilyn Monroe collection now. I have to try some of that. Uh, but this is awesome stuff. I highly recommend it. The price is great and it is quality product because I've been wearing it for weeks now and I haven't had a problem and I really 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 love this setting spray even went and repurchased some because I bought one little bottle this is my first bottle and I'm already down to the very end here um, but they have all kinds of primers and stuff for your face so definitely check it out it's exclusive to Walmart I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I just really love makeup and I uh, want to do videos of affordable things that you all could see. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you love that. Look at that. This is all cheap Walmart make. And, well, it's not definitely like cheap is necessarily bad. I think cheap is great. Uh, but I did get a really beautiful look out of this makeup from Walmart. <laughs> So, this is all drugstore makeup, um, but I have my Maybelline Fit Me foundation on, and then I just use their concealer. Uh, so, I definitely highly recommend Hard Candy. Uh, some people, I've heard mixed reviews on some of the things, but I have oily skin, like I said, and it, it's all depending on what your skin is like, but I would highly recommend giving it a try. So, it's... Something I liked caught my eye. Their colors are, cr are really cool, and I think it's amazing stuff. So thank you very much for watching this video. It's a little long, I'm sorry. Uh, but we had a lot of products to go over from last time, and some old, some new. So, alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next. Bye!